In the music-obsessed city of Austin, Texas, a retired Microsoft manager is on a quest to get people playing a new instrument. Jim Plamondon calls his invention the thumber. But it's not a music store's. Mr. Plamondon is still hunting for the financial backing to bring it to market. Music brains are our first target market. They, we define them to be serious musical hobbyists with degrees and or jobs in science, engineering, technology, medica, medicine, and related arts. His product faces both cultural and commercial obstacles because it's extremely rare for new musical instruments to catch on widely. Depending on your definition of the word new, the most recent inventions to take off in the mainstream were electric guitars and synthesizers in the mid-20th century. Oddly enough, Mr. Plamondon isn't a musician himself. He quit the tuba after high school, and he shies away from playing the thumber in public. Have you ever, ever seen Leo Fender play the electric guitar? Uh, you, and the answer almost invariably is no, because he was not a great electric guitar player. And if he played it, you know, in an okay manner, then that would sort of imply that that was as good as the electric guitar could be played. Mr. Plamondon's instrument looks like a cross between an accordion and a video game controller. It doesn't have a unique sound. The thumber can mimic most any instrument because it plugs into a computer or synthesizer. But what makes the instrument compelling, according to Mr. Plamondon, is how it's played. If you were playing in the key of E, and you wanted to just play a 1-4-5, which is, you know, the, the kind of the basis of rock and roll history. Um, it's a pretty complicated set of, of uh, stuff on the piano in that you have, uh, you know, white, 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 black. And the relationships are different for every key. On the thumber, the same thing. That same triad is, is a triangle. just between the keys, it's actually, you know, if, if I'm playing an E and I'm playing that 1-4-5 progression, it's that same triangle. Unlike the linear keyboard of a piano, the thumber's keys are set up in a honeycomb pattern. This layout simplifies the task of fingering scales or chords or melodies. For example, it allows you to play a chord in any key, like C major or G major, by just shifting the chord's geometry around the keyboard. Theoretically, this makes the thumber more intuitive than instruments like the piano, which require players to memorize countless chord fingerings. And in case you were wondering about the name, it comes from these thumb controllers on the back. Mr. Plamondon got the idea to add them while playing a video game on his Xbox. On the thumber, the sticks allow the player to control volume and bend notes. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm John Jurgensen. <laughs>